introducing Manu Bazano. Uh, Manu is a writer, psychotherapist, supervisor in private practice and independent researcher. Um, some of his books are The Newest Subversion and Desire, Pathways to Transindividuation, Nietzsche and Psychotherapy, Revision in Existential Therapy, Revision in Person-Centered Therapy, Zen and Therapy, and of course, some more. Therapy and the Counter Tradition, After Mindfulness, Spectre of the Stranger, The Speed of Angels, Buddha is Dead, Nietzsche and the Dawn of European Zen, Haiku for, love, for Lovers, Zen uh, Poems. Uh, he studied uh, Eastern con contemplative practices since 1980 and in 2004 was ordained in the Soto and Rinzai traditions of Zen Buddhism. He has been co-editor of PCEP journal and is associate editor of Self and Society Journal of Humanistic Psychology. From uh, September 2000. 23 to June 2024, uh, he will facilitate a monthly course in person, in person and online, uh, which has the title "The Primacy of Affect: An Introduction to Affect-Based Therapy, Supervision, and Research." Uh, for introducing Man Bazano, what I want to do is to go uh, almost directly to. His work, he writes uh, in Subversion and Desire, self-loss is essential to self-knowledge. Without it, there cannot be either a future nor experience. Uh, so, dear fellow participants of this symposium, prepare to leave your usual self and your us usual knowledge outside the room. <laughs> Otherwise, you might stay the same and your experience might be just a kind of a repetition. So, are you ready to uh, accept ambig ambiguity and indeterminacy as fundamental? To let passion, desire, love and sexuality affect you? Are you ready to grieve, just grieve, but away from established, established norms? To be ecstatic? Are you ready to allow real, not ne neutralized, otherness to dismantle and transform you? Are you ready to allow more society in your life and thought? Like a Socratic fly, which teases the horse of the common psychotherapeutic wo world, Bazano will unsettle our simplified, accepted hypothesis with which we usually think practice therapy and interpret emergent phenomena. Uh, his own theoretical work draws from post-structuralism, Deleuze and Guattari, Nietzsche, Laplace, Butler, critical psychology, feminism, Zen meditation, any kind of philosophy and literature, ancient or, or modern, and like Serke, I don't know how to pronounce this, he won't let you, he won't let us return to our usual Ithaca of the self or of the subject. His writings dare to put into words uh, not uh, views not at all popular, uh, views against solipsism, foundationalism, reductionism, essentialism of any kind, against neoliberal and positivist agendas and ideologies, hidden, hidden or not, of regulation and control, against any, any kind of san, sanitiza, sanitization and sterilization of human and non-human uh, life. Uh, his writings critique any kind of established, a fashionable system for psychotherapy, 
trauma industry, attachment theory, uh, the scientism of methods of research, humanism itself, conventional uh, humanistic theory and therapy, either Rogerian or existential, you name it. And like Nietzsche, he diagnoses certain bad turns of our times, reactive forces and ways of uh, suppressing desire, like uh, dataism, scientism, sexophobia, somatophobia, a bureaucratism, the politics of injury, the culture of resentment, anthropocentrism, the anti-demonic model, the de-democratization of democracy, the reign of consciousness and of the self-bound, self-existing subject, mental hygiene, affect regulation, uh, anodyne or facile notions of embodiment, the, pre the prejudice of inner life, the pathologizing of the unconscious, utilitarianism, the drive to identity, either true or not, and so forth. Uh, here and there in his books you can come across direct or indirect warnings regarding the inept and banal character of bodies, either private or governmental, which regulate the usual psychotherapeutic discourse. Uh, is it a pathetic illusion, the pledge of uh, <clears throat> becoming fully function functioning in a thoroughly dysfunctional world? And is that an oversimplification? But is it not uh, also an important message, a kind of alert of great signif significance? Uh, is this not only a Nietzschean affected-driven vision of psychotherapy, after all banal, compliant, conservative itself? Or is it not? Is Bazanian vision, symbolically, exiled? Is he an orphan or is he not? Is conventional psychotherapy imprisoned in managerial egotherapy? And how can psychotherapy escape this prison of being the new fortress of, surve of surveillance and normativity? I, myself, I personally see in his writings specific new anti-Cartesian notions and directions, well clarified at, first, at the first level, uh, for theory and for practice. That kind of you, processual uh, and anti-Cartesian, is a difficult thing to clarify and a more difficult thing to translate positively into common sense and the common discourse and practice. How could this view become implicit? As Gentle would say, I know that Bazano inspires me into that direction. I know that he writes about differences that matter, really matter for me. He writes with agon about colors, made by tears, and great joy, I suppose. Uh, it is good to have a culture, space-time, panoramic and in-depth view of a whole territory, to realize and recognize the centripetal Ptolemaic forces towards a supposed unity of the self, so towards any kind of Ithaca, and the otherwise centrifugal, copernical force towards otherness which decentralizes the self and opens up the autonomy of uh, affect. In his latest book, Subversion and Desire, he writes, 
this exploration has only just begun. I hope it will continue. If and if it won't be me doing it, I am certain others will. Sure, as he writes, uh, an original article or book is hard to find, but I think us here today we have found uh, a lot. So, they are all the source of what is hard to find, Manu Bazano. Uh, his uh, presentation has the title In Praise of Pandemonium, a polyphonic contra puntal perspective on the notion of the organism in experiential psychotherapies and beyond. So he will present, I suppose, he will present us the case for a polyphonic pandemonic organism. So please, dear Manu Bazano, 